Hey, how's it going? Dave Tootie here. So MSI is a gaming company. They have a lot of gaming hardware. They have laptops, components for desktops. They have gaming accessories. They're gaming everything. And when they announced this thing, a laptop for creatives that could game, I didn't think it would be something special because they're just not known for products like this. But this is awesome. The PS63 is a device that they're calling the 16 by 16 by 16 laptop. And that just refers to its specs. It's 16 millimeters thick, it's 1600 grams, and has a claimed battery life of 16 hours, which seems impossibly long. Now, right off the rip, the build quality in this thing is way better than most MSI laptops that I've used. The fit and finish of everything is just a little bit more refined. The aluminum panels fit tighter. There's just less flex on the chassis. It's a better built laptop than I expected. So as an example, the GS65 from last year, they're very popular gaming laptop with great performance, but the build wasn't amazing. They've stepped it up on the PS63. It's still not a tank, there's still some flex on the screen if you torque it, but it's just built way better than I thought it would be. The screen itself is a 1080p display, it's got good color gamut, good brightness, with relatively thin bezels. The webcams up top, image quality on that is okay, but the screen itself is quite good. Now powering the system is a lower wattage CPU, the 8565U, and a reasonably powerful GPU. On this system, it's the 1050 Ti Max-Q. So normally when you have a CPU like this, companies will combine that CPU with either the stock, like Intel integrated GPU, which is normally garbage, or if you're lucky, you'll get like an MX150, which is decent, not a gaming GPU, but decent. This GPU is significantly better. The 1050 Ti Max-Q in here pushes out very respectful frame rates in games. And that's kind of why I like this product so much. This combination of CPU and GPU really makes sense. Some companies will sell MX150 laptops for 900, maybe $1,000, which is cool. But sometimes you'll see companies selling MX150 laptops for 15 or $1,600. And those are not gaming laptops. They are capable of playing some games, but they're just not gaming laptops. I wouldn't even call this a gaming laptop. So when you charge 15 or $1,600 and your GPU isn't able to provide great frame rates in games, then it just, that product just doesn't make sense to me at that price point. This device from MSI feels right. You're getting like double the performance of an MX150, so you're getting double the frame rate, double the enjoyment in games, like maybe even double the kills, who knows? This is a proper gaming experience. It's still not a gaming laptop, right? You're not gonna like win MLG tournaments with it, but the product makes sense for an average consumer or creative because you can do so much with it. Now, the biggest strength of this device is actually it's battery life. Now they claim 16 hours. I ran a couple tests on it. I'm not getting 16. I got like 12 and a half, 13 hours, which is still very, very impressive. And they're able to do that because they have a big battery in here. It's 80 watt hours and it's fueling a CPU that's not super energy intensive. It's a U processor. So the ports on this thing are okay. There's three USB-A, one USB-C, but that USB-C port does not support Thunderbolt 3. And I think that's probably this product's biggest shortcoming. There are some people out there that would love to connect this thing to an external GPU, and I feel like it's a great candidate for that, but it doesn't support Thunderbolt 3, and that's probably why this laptop isn't perfect for some people, and it also doesn't support USB-C charging. So the AC adapter it comes with is 90 watts. It's under that limit of USB-C charging capabilities. I think those go up to like 99 or 100 watts, so they could have done it, but I feel like for cost, they chose to use a barrel plug. The price is also a little high. This unit here is going for $1,500 with a 1050 Ti. There's a cheaper model that's $1,400, but I feel like if it was just a little bit cheaper, if it was like $100 or $200 cheaper, this would be like really popular and maybe they'll go on sale, but it's a relatively unique product. I feel like MSI knows that, so they're just gonna charge whatever they can right now. Uh, the speakers are on the bottom. They get reasonably loud. They don't sound amazing. I think location has something to do with it. They're just firing down onto the table. You can see them when you remove the bottom panel and you have access to upgradable RAM, storage, and Wi-Fi, all easily accessed. The keyboard up top is also nice. I'm partial to MSI's keyboards. I always find them kind of easy to get into, easy to use with a good layout. I will say though that the spring back on this is a little bit softer. I feel like I complain about this on all of their keyboards, but most people will get used to this quite quickly. Now the trackpad is better than I thought it would be. It has a fingerprint sensor for people that want it, and it also has this textured glass that feels quite nice. It's a very smooth, frictionless glass texture that MSI normally doesn't use on their trackpad, so that's a nice addition. It's also running Windows Precision Driver, so thumbs up for that. There's some software in here that gives you control over CPU and GPU usage, as well as fan control, which is nice, but the fans and thermals are both good. The fans don't get super loud, it doesn't throttle under normal use. It's a very solid overall laptop. So 
It's a thin and light device with great battery life, but can also play games. And the whole time it looks relatively stealth. Like there's no obnoxious red and crazy RGBs and stuff. It's a very neutral looking device with just a lot of flexibility. So if you're interested in this device, and I think some of you might be, Keep in mind that its strength is battery life, right? Like there are devices like this made by other companies, but they tend to have shorter battery lives. This is a solid like 12 hour battery life. You can bring this to work without bringing your charger, bring this back and just, you know, that's your routine. That's your thing. Play games on the side, do work on the other side. Solid device. Okay, MSI PS63. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.